Hello, Oz Dusole here with Datascopic, and I want to share something with you. I had some fun with a challenge that Mr. Excel presented last week about randomizing cafeteria specials. And then I noticed that Kevin Lairbase with my spreadsheet labs also had some fun with it. So I want to have you go to their links and see how they dealt with this challenge and I am going to run through mine really quickly. I won't go through all of the details, but I will make the file available to you once I am done with the blog post. All right, so let's look here. So, well, let's look at the randomizer first and show you the challenge. So here are specials in the cafeteria, and the issue or as it was originally presented was that the list was alphabetical and the students would not tolerate having their meals come in alphabetical order one issue was that meatballs would show up five days in a row but I saw it as an issue of just just having a list however you created that list right so how do you randomize this list and avoid a student riot. So here are the challenges that I saw, right? Randomizing the list. And when you randomize, what happens if you have meals back to back or you know the same meal within three days? That won't work. And then how do you add new specials? And then a problem with ran between as the randomizing solution it always recalculates so if you get a perfect list how do you grab it before it moves on you right okay let me show you that so you see how this is laid out now if I put a four here ran between causes the whole thing to recalculate so even when you copy and paste somewhere it shifts again right as you paste and so if this was the perfect list it's gonna be gone unless you go write it down somewhere and do something to get it to stay still so let's look at the features that are here first of all the specials are in a table so that I can add new features new specials Right. Let's get rid of this four. See, again, it's shifted. Look at these X's. The X is set up in a formula saying, let me know if crab legs shows up within these five days more than once. Right. So I use the count if in order to do that. I don't need the actual count. So it's nested inside of an if. So you know, I don't care if it shows up five times out of five. I just need to know to look at it. So that's why it's an X. All right. And I was thinking about this too. Let's see, there are some regular meals, right? And then there are some meals that if you serve this too frequently, you got a student riot, right? You give them haggis more than, say, once in a month, it's not going to be funny. And then what about the staff? Do you want to make lasagna once a week? The students may love it, but it's too complicated for the staff to do. So we need to know that. Let's go to the randomizer. And what I have here is every time one of the three lasagna haggis or peanut butter and jelly shows up highlight it so that we know and if we look at scenario C see okay we can live with that haggis is not showing up at all lasagna just once and peanut butter and jelly just once okay we can live with that So let me show you that in the conditional formatting and you see, 
lasagna, wherever that shows up, yellow, peanut butter and jelly, blue, haggis, pink. All right, and that gives a visual clue to let me know, don't do this, don't do that. Okay, and let's look at, so there's crab legs. There's our rand between that does the randomizing, as you would see in Mr. Excel's video. But there are table references, right? Table one menu and it's counting how many meals we have to help the rand between function so let's add a tuna wrap the table grabbed tuna wrap now let's see if it showed up ah here is tuna wrap for us here is tuna wrap great 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 all right and there's no haggis, peanut butter and jelly, or lasagna in this list, but we do have crab legs showing up two days in a row. So why do I have three scenarios? Well, to allow Excel to do more of the work, right? So we could have one list, right? And then use Control-Alt-F9 to recalculate. All right. Here, B looks like something that we can do. All right, chicken and waffles is showing up. Lobster bisque is showing up too frequently. And the idea here is you can manually change these. Right, because we could write a lot of VBA code and some sophisticated formulas to have this turn out perfect, right? Have Excel do all of the work, but that would probably be more complicated than what we need. So I do have a little bit of VBA that says I want to choose this scenario because I can go and manually change these two. I don't want to try to change these. All right, so let's select B. Great. There is our list. It's not going to move on us. I can say lobster bisque. Let's change that to, let's give them some good old haggis. All right, and we've got a chicken and waffles to change. Let's see, what would we like to change it to? Grilled cheese. Good, now I have a list that I can give to the head of the cafeteria and we're off and students will be happy everything is randomized we are good so how did I do that let's look briefly at the VBA code we turn off the automatic calculation we turn it to manual calculation right and then we move our data and then we turn the calculation back to automatic and end the routine So this was fun to think about. And, you know, I share this with you to share how I at least think through building an app that's useful, you know, that somebody is dealing with. Yeah, there's the randomizing, but it's often more complicated than just randomizing. So thanks a lot. I hope you got something out of this. Please ask me questions and when the blog post is available, I will share that with you along with the file. Thanks a lot. Again, this is Oz with Datascopic and be in touch. Bye.